Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we're going to talk about the top 10 selling plush on eBay at the time I did this video. So eBay goes back, I think, 90 days. You can go back a little further on Terra Peak, I think up to two years. Worth point is what I use when I want to look at things that are further back or more information. I do have a link down below. Um, it's a referral link for Worth Point if you want to check that out. I've got some videos that show you how I use Worth Point. It is a little pricey, but I love it. So check out that video. It may be a good fit for you. It may not be. It took me a long time to get it, but I'm glad I did. So, um, but like I said, it is pricey. So figure out if you really need it for your business. But if, if you do, it's very beneficial. You will make more money because of it. All right. So let's talk about the top 10 plush. Now, I do a little more digging when I look up solds because there are so many fake solds, unverifiable solds that people tell you sold for big money when really in actuality, in actuality, is that a word? They didn't even sell. They did not even sell. So um, be careful. Because when you're searching solds, sometimes the item never got paid for. It wasn't even a good sale. It still shows up in the solds, but it didn't sell. Does that make sense? So let's talk about some big money plush that are verified. And I'll tell you how I verified it. If you've watched me before, you know some of my little tricks. But if you haven't, this may be new to you. And a lot of these things get new resellers. So if you're new to reselling, pay attention. This is very important. All right. So the first item is this antique, very old teddy bear. Stife question mark. Straw stuffed vintage plush needs help and a home. So uh, they don't know if it's stife or not. Now, what do you guys think about putting a question mark in the title? Um, I have done this before. I don't know if it's the right thing to do or not. Uh, I can't remember why, why I used a question mark, but I have done it before. I don't know if it was for a brand. I don't think it was. I think it was something else. But do you think it's keyword spamming if you're not sure? Because anybody that's looking for Stife is going to be drawn to this listing when it may or may not be a stife bear. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Also, what do you think about the chicken noodle soup? Would you would you use this chicken noodle soup? I know I've seen people use quarters with jewelry, which I get I get the quarters with jewelry. I don't know about the chicken noodle soup. It kind of makes me giggle. So um, I, I kind of like it for laughs. And then you look here, it looks like it's got some damage to it. None of these factors played any role in how much this item sold for. The title, the question mark. We, we hear all the time, don't use punctuation in your title. There's punctuation. There's a question mark. There's a slash. This item still sold for big money. And this bear is not in great condition, as you can see. Man, he, is, he has had a rough day. This poor guy has had a rough day. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He has had a really rough day. He has something hanging out of his neck. Wow. You guys, for real, look at this. 20 bids, $1,325 plus shipping. The bear is so cute. Fast shipping and packed very well. Thank you so much. This straw stuffed vintage plush, I don't know if it was Stife or not, but this old stuffed bear that needs help and a home went for over a thousand dollars. So how did I verify it? I checked for feedback and guess what? There's feedback, which means it was a good sale. This is a Warrior Cats Squirrel Flight plush stuffed animal. It is pre-owned without the tag. And it is a harder to find rare item. This is your tush tag. This is one that I've never heard of. And we will talk about this in another video. So stay tuned for that. This sold for $499 and feedback was left. This is a 16 inch Sprocket Fraggle Rock plush dog with tags and collar by Toomey. 
1984 Henson. So we're just going to take a look at the pictures. It does have the original tag. Definitely is going to be helpful. $550. Easy to work with. High quality item. Sold. This is a Jumbo Jag plush bison. American buffalo stuffed animal. Vintage and rare. Sold for $475 on auction. It has a defect. And there is your tush tag. And he's a big guy. I probably would have used a tape measure to show how big it is. Personally, I always try to do that in my photos. That's one recommendation I would have for you guys. If you're watching this and new to selling plush, show the measurements. And this also, man, this bison is awesome. They so big and cuddly. Thanks again. $475. This one is so cute. It's a rare red russet woolly long hair husky dog Reuben 2042 plush Douglas cuddle toys. Here's your tag. Here's your other. Mm, excuse me. Here's your other information. Here's the bottom. A lot of times these white plush, they get yellow and they start to look dirty. This one looks pretty good and it sold for $749.50. And the buyer had free shipping on that. So free shipping. Here, oh wait, I'm sorry. Disregard, $749.50. I went over to Terapeak to verify it. It looks like it sold on June 15th for $700. The buyer did not pay. So this is how I know because I look at the date here and it says June 21st and it sold for $625. So there you go, $625. I copy the title into Terapeak. So basically you go over to research and Terapeak product research. You put the title in, you hit search, filter by last two years, guys, and you'll find your item. And then you look at the dates over here. That's going to tell you if it sold and got relisted or what the sold, the final sold price was. In this case, it was $625. Um, I'm looking here at this one. That has the same exact title and it says March. So it looks like in March it sold for 880. So it didn't get paid for twice and then finally sold for 625 and here's your feedback on that. Thank you. So it sold for 625. This is a rare FAO FAO Schwartz Red Fox plush stuffed animal 27 inches realistic. This is what I'm talking about, putting a tape measure in your listing. This really helps buyers understand just how big your item is. They've got this in a light box. So here it is. And feedback was left. And they sold it for $899.90 with positive feedback. E and J plush Malamute Husky Wolf. Huge stuffed dog, 40 inches. Now, I will say I am not a big fan of items uh, being put on furniture or on beds or different things like that. But this one, I love this picture. This seems so realistic to me. This looks realistic. It's on the back of the couch. It's laying on the couch. I mean, good job on making this thing look like a real dog. Oh, my goodness. So stinking adorable. So I don't know if you're going to agree with me or not, but this is one situation where I'm like, they nailed it with the photos. Uh, what they're doing here is they're showing that the eyeballs have scratches or do not have scratches. A lot of collectors, when they're paying big money for plush, they want to know how do the eyeballs look. Here is your tag. Here is the bottom. Definitely show the bottom, especially if it's white. Like I said, a lot of times they will yellow. I'm going to go to Terapeak and see what this actually sold for because you can see it is crossed through, which means the best offer was taken. This sold for $1,400 and the buyer paid shipping. And there's your feedback, guys. Very cute and amazing condition and arrived quickly. $1,400 for a plush stuffed animal. This is a vintage 1950s Stife Lulac Donkey with stife metal ear post, excellent condition. So let's take a good look at this one. This looks like it was actually sold by a Goodwill store. And there's your stife tag. 
$2,759.99. And feedback, great communication, item as described, great seller. Stife is a great brand to look for. The older ones from the 50s and, you know, 60s, those are the ones that go for more. But even some of the more newer Stife can be big money also. So definitely look them up if you see them. The next item is this Rare Douglas Cuddle Toys Blazer German Shepherd Plush Dog. This little guy. Okay, I'm not sure what's happening here. What is happening right here? What is this picture? Was this an accident? I think this might be an accident. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here are all my plush. All right, here's the little German Shepherd. Uh, that's not a great photo either. Uh, oh well, it's still sold for big money, right? And this is what I'm talking about, having it like on a bed and stuff like that. I personally just prefer to see an item in a light box. But that one on the back of that couch, it looked so awesome and realistic. So here is the Douglas, the cuddle toy. And it shows that it's got a little bit of staining on the foot. So they did a great job of showing any condition issues. And... Let's take a peek. $1,009 free shipping on this. Feedback was left. It says a stunning plush. It was a real pleasure to work with the seller in acquiring the plush for my close friend. She is absolutely in love with him. Thanks so much. And if you go over to Terra Peak, you can see on June 18th, this item sold for $4,050 and the buyer did not pay. So they relisted it and it sold for a thousand. So still really, really great profit, but um, not 4,000, right? So could they have held out and did like a buy it now or best offer and gotten more? I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. The next item was a Webkins that I found. And I just recently did a video on Webkins to look for. And when I was doing my research, I saw this little guy. And he sold for $250. So he is not quite as high as the other ones. But I will say that the Webkins, you find these. You find them at thrift stores. You find them at the binge. You find them at garage sales. They're a little bit easier to maybe find. This one, however, is a draft. And I saw lots of drafts, but I did not see the pink draft with the purple little thingies. So maybe that one is special. Let me know if you guys know anything about this plush. All right, guys, so those were the top 10 plush that sold at the time of this video that I could actually verify because there were other solds, but I'm not going to show you every sold with a high price. I mean, you guys can go in and do that. I'm going to take the time and do a little extra work so that we know that it's legit because I want to know that these items are really selling for that price because otherwise I may go out and overspend on something because I think it's a bolo when really it's not. I just researched wrong. So check feedback. Another thing you can do is go into the seller's store. If there's no feedback, go into their active listings. See if the item is relisted. If the item is relisted, then obviously it didn't sell. If it's not relisted, I'm going to say it probably sold. It's probably a good sale because what do you do with a listing that somebody doesn't pay for? You relist it. So those are two things that you can do. Um, verifying the price, the sold price on Terrapeak is also another very important thing. You can see that one last plush. When I first looked it up, I saw $4,000 and I was like, Whoa. And then I looked on Terrapeak and I saw the same picture and I saw the dates and I saw that it sold for a thousand after it sold for four thousand. So that's how I was able to figure that one out. Does it take more time? Does it take more research? Yes. These videos take a long time to make because I'm looking for the best of the best to bring you guys so that you know what to look for. But to me, it's worth it. It helps me learn. It helps you guys learn. And I love it. Now, I have talked about selling on Mercari your plush toys, even jewelry, things that are flooded on eBay, sometimes sell for more on Mercari and Poshmark. But Mercari, especially for plush, check out my Build-A-Bear video because I show you Build-A-Bears that sold for way more on Mercari than they did on eBay. 
I just kept doing this research throughout this video. And I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So definitely if you sell Build-A-Bear, check out that video. Now, um, have things changed since I did that video? Maybe, but there is definitely a market for those types of items over on Mercari. Um, if you use my link down below, it's a referral link. If you're not already on Mercari, you can use that and you will get $10 to shop when you join with it and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So that's $30 total that you can get to spend on Mercari to buy something to sell or just something for personal use. I do have Bolo Buddies earrings. Um, I call this my new merch. They were made by Lucky Day Shop. She's on Whatnot. She has amazing earrings like this, but she uh, put these together for me. She added, uh, let me just, oh, <laughs> just hit my computer screen. I'm just going to show you here at the end of the video. If you've already seen it, you guys can like tune out. I get it. But if you haven't, they're so cute. So here's Halloween. Here is Thanksgiving. And here are the ones I have in that are just, you can wear them every day. And I had a solid blue and you'll see me wear them in some videos, but they were kind of hard for her to work with. Um, there was a lot of imperfections because of the solid blue color. So we're working on, she's working on trying to get me like a watercolor blue that isn't going to show like some of the imperfections because I really love the Bolo Buddies blue color. But these are fantastic because I think they match more. Does that make sense? So anyway, more to come. Lucky Day Shop over on Whatnot. She also sells jewelry on her channel, her Whatnot channel. Is it called a channel? I don't even know what we call our Whatnot but I am loving whatnot, but I've got these earrings in my whatnot. Buy it now. They're $5 plus shipping. So if you use my referral link down below, you'll get $15 to shop. And that's if you join whatnot with it. Okay. You can't already be on whatnot. You have to join with that link. It's a referral link, get $15 to shop. And then you can go over and buy some earrings or whatever else you want to buy on whatnot. You don't have to use that credit with me. You can use it with anybody. But I would love for you to come check out a Whatnot show. We have lots of fun. Even if you guys don't buy anything, just come hang out in the chat. We giggle and laugh and just have such a good time as I'm showing the jewelry. I've got some really funny friends that come in and we just um, have a good time. So I hope to see you um, in a future Whatnot show. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.